Hi, this is Matchwords coming at you live, live, from, well, recorded from beforeisleep.net, net, net. I'm sorry that the video's crooked. Um, I can't find the stand to the eyesight camera, uh, and so, and I've been taping the thing up. Uh, that's a little better. Okay, it's going to cut off the top of my head a little, but that's okay. I'm coming to you today because I want to discuss something uh, which I've just noticed from visiting the person next to me. I'm in an apartment building, and um, yes, that's right, so are you. We're in an apartment building, and uh, there's six apartments in our building, and the apartment, right, and the apartment next to us, right across the hall, I just had a chance to go in there today because I had loaned her my toolbox, and I couldn't get over how she kept thanking me for my tool. I'm very immature. And anyway, this plays into my next point. When I looked at the decorations of her apartment, when I looked at how her apartment was laid out, it seriously was like I had walked into an adult house. The furniture was very nice. There was a headboard on the bed. Rudy agrees with me here, don't you, Rudy? Um, there was there was art everywhere. There were mirrors up, and everything hung up on the walls. Everything was arranged very nicely. Um, it was very clean, spotless. I mean, there was clutter from the new move in. She just moved in, but everything was basically clean. It was clean, right? Now, as as anyone who knows me knows, my default state is not one of cleanliness. It takes a while for me to actually build up the momentum and drive and desire to clean my apartment. Normally, it's in somewhat of a state of disarray. Now, I like to blame this on the fact that, uh, as a genius, I don't have time for the little things. You know? As an alpha, I should not be doing the work that the betas and gammas of the world should be doing. But anyway, in my own apartment, I haven't had time to hire a maid or any money to hire a maid. So I just, I don't keep it very clean. Everything's very cluttered. Even when the, the floors are cleaned up with all the food crumbs, everything else is still very cluttered. There's papers, every, papers everywhere, all over the desk. There's, I mean, I'd show you the desk. There's papers everywhere. Um, it's just bad. It's, it's not, not very clean. But more than that, my... Uh, my apartment is still decorated as though I were in college. My bed doesn't have a headboard on it. My bed barely even has a sheet on it. I ended up, I went to the store to buy a nice sheet and they're like 40 bucks for, for a nice sheet and sets of sheets. I didn't want to spend $40. So I looked around until I found, yes, I looked around until I found the thrift sheet. Now this was buried beneath all the other sheets. It was this nice red sheet and it said irregular on it. Now it turns out all this means is that it's kind of hard to get it on the bed. It doesn't really sit right. One of the corners is not a 90 degree angle. Seriously, how important is a 90 degree angle? Right, Rudy? <laughs> I love how he's so energetic and animated until I actually talk to him and then he just... I don't have a lot of art on my wall. I bought a few paintings a couple months ago and this was a momentous occasion. You like the paintings, don't you, Rudy? This was a momentous occasion because because I never buy art. I mean, this is the first time I've actually bought like framed art from art.com. Normally, I just buy a poster. So I consider myself moving into the adult realm. But it's still amazing when I walk into the apartment right across the hall from me how awesome it looks. And like an adult, and I come back to my place, there's pizza boxes everywhere, the furniture isn't sitting right, there's just crap everywhere, the dishes aren't done, the, the sheets don't fit right, one of the corners is not a 90 degree angle. Say hello, Rudy. Say hello. Anyway, the point is, I don't know if this is a fact that I don't have a lot of money right now, and so I'm not able to, um, not able to afford nice things, or more likely, it's just the fact that I... I just don't know how to put nice things together. I think the moral of the story is that I need a woman in my life who can arrange things for me and, and clean everything for me and, and make my life generally nicer. And I know where I can find this woman. I need a maid. It is, sim it is as simple as that. I know a lot of you um, 
uh, chauvinistic males out there, uh, what do they call them, Mi misogynistic males out there, thought that I was going to say I need a wife or a, a girlfriend. Or I did have a sweetie who one time cleaned my room for me while I was on vacation. This was a big surprise for me. And it was very momentous because she'd never done any cleaning for me before. She likes to say that she used to wash my clothes all the time. And she seriously did that like three times in the whole relationship. In contrast, I had a friend, Ian, from back in high school. And his then-girlfriend, Mary Beth, she did everything. She washed his clothes all the time. She, she folded them. She put them away. She cleaned his apartment all the time, his house, his, his bedroom, and his mom's house. So I need a maid. Or a wife. Or I could marry my maid. What do you think? Anyway, this is my uh, little attempt at a video blog or a little video inspiration here. I didn't want to type this out because I feel very passionate about this. Thank you for visiting BeforeISleep.net, and I will be back again with you shortly.